Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dog Island. Now in widescreen, because what do you know, a PlayStation 2 could handle that. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Hello, sir. Arr, I'm Eldorado. A ship in the harbor is me, ship. With it, I can go anywhere. I've even been to the Dog Island before, too. Yeah, I really wish they would have named it using lowercase letters. Apparently they wanted to know it was about the dogs! I have even gone farther than that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to reference that island in such vigor again. <laughs> it's going to get referenced a lot. Yes, indeed. Whew. What's the biggest attraction? The treasure hunt! That sounds like fun. Talk to Gustavo, the dog with the question mark over his head. Let's go grab something before I forget about it. It's over here behind Donatello. Let's see here. Aha! I've taken your glass. Not. Oh! Tonight's the night of the Pro Town Festival! Tonight's the night to enjoy! Put your worries away, sonny! Good old Gustavo said he was hosting a treasure hunting contest! Why don't you join them? Might be fun! Yeah, as you can tell, the game really wants us to join that treasure hunting contest. And indeed, there's really nothing else we can do, so, uh... Let's sign up! Hello, sir! Come one, come all! Gather round, gather round! You there, you look skilled! How about joining the treasure hunt contest? Sure thing! Good, good! The rules are simple! There are three spiral shells hidden in the town! You need to find them by sniffing and bringing them back here! The winner is the dog who finds the shells and makes it back here the fastest! So there's more than three? We have a prize, so every dog do your best. This is what a spiral cell smells like. Remember it. Now then, ready? Uh, say, isn't that your sister? Wait, what? Maria, what are you doing out here? You're supposed to be at home resting. You, you're supposed to be resting and getting better. Well, I know that. I wanted you to be out here too, but... Ah, uh, not gonna listen to me, are ya? Everybody is. Alright. I'll concede. Mark. There you go. Good girl. Uh, are you ready now? Okay then. Here we go again. Ready? Go! Now, she might be able to gather, um... It's kind of impossible to lose the contest. Nobody else is gonna make progress. <laughs> no matter. Charge! Out of the way, Raven. Everybody loves you, but get out of the way. Over here's our friends. This fellow here is also... Amadeo is also participating, but uh, he's... Apparently nowhere near as good at it as Emilio. We have ourselves soap. Hello, sir! Congratulations! Arr, that pup! Ain't he dog, son? Arr, takes that three, father, so he does. Yay! Oh, how 
want to keep that secret. No! Shut up! Freya, please, calm down. You're just not being excited. Oh, oh dear. Arr, shiver me timbers! Somebody call a doctor! Come here, girl! Let's get you home! Don't stand there, Lowy Gagging! Get a doctor! On it! Well, that joyous occasion took a horrible turn for the worse, didn't it? Oh, how's it look, doctor? She's been sick like this for so long! How much longer till she gets better? I have to be frank with you. She's not going to be getting better, any better than she is now. No, that can't be true. I'm doing everything I can, but I'm sorry. Poor girl just wanted to have fun. Well, what do we do? Is there really no way to cure her? Well, I've heard of a skilled doctor called Dr. Poson. He lives on the Dog Islands. He may know of a way to cure this. A Dog Island? My girl can't make such a trip in this condition. Yes, yeah, she's in no shape to be traveling. Oh, what shall we do? Oh, well, your only chance, as I see it, is to go and ask Dr. Poton to come and visit your house. Oh, but I can't just go off and leave my daughter here alone. Oh, I understand. In any case, there's been a series of storms near the Dog Island. Many ships have sunk while attempting to get there. Just trying to get to the Dog Island itself is a big risk. And even if you made it there, there's nothing to say that Dr. Poton would come. Please, just stay by your pup's side. Well, my best to you. Please, call me if you need me. Oh! What can I do? Well, the answer's obvious, Ma. No! Emilio! You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Of course I am. Somebody has to do it. No! I can't allow you to do anything so dangerous! You heard what the doctor said! There's terrible storms around the Dog Island! Some ships have some just trying to sail there! Your father already went in search of a remedy for your little sister! And he hasn't come back! What would I... <laughs> what would I do if anything happened to you too? I couldn't take it! can't just sit and do nothing. Ah, there you are, Emilio. Are you absolutely sure about going to the Dog Island? You know, sailing to the Dog Island ain't gonna be no walk in the park. Are you truly willing to risk life and limb to get there? Somebody has to. My sister's life depends on it. Well, looks like you're serious. All right, then. Now well, my ship's good enough for you, I'll take you there. But I'll tell you, this won't be no luxury cruise. You'll have to work for me while you're on board. You got it? Yay, happy puppy! We'll leave tomorrow at high tide. Till then, you got some time to get ready. Thanks, Captain. Oh, I'm off, Ma. Oh, like I told you last night, I'm worried about you going there alone. But you made your decision, and I won't argue with with you about this anymore. 
But please be careful. Do have a safe trip. It's not your fault, Maria. Find that remedy. Bring back the doctor. Maybe even both. Oh, make sure you properly thank the captain. Pay attention to everything he says when you're on board. And don't do anything dangerous. Now, show me your face. Off you go then, my brave young fellow. Don't worry about it, Amelia. I'm not gonna help anything to worry about it. Get you that help you need. Hey! They say floating stars are a sign that trouble's brewing. So you be careful, you hear? Thanks, speed bump. I mean, old man. I mean, Donatello. Bye, guys. Sure thing. And we're off. Day one at sea. The seasickness has finally left me, so I, so I can manage to be up and about on the deck. I don't have an understanding of how the ship is managing to move without the sails deployed. Clearly this is why I'm the land lover and everyone else is the experienced crew. Things started to make a lot more sense when Captain Dorado ordered for the sails to be deployed. I wanted to help, but uh, having no idea what I was doing, it was best for me to just stay out of the way. So I cheered him on, said, looking good, guys. And then, for some reason, out of nowhere, the Blue Jay dropped a villain on the ship, clocked me on the head, but appeared wounded. I kind of liked him. It tasted funny. But I like the way he chirped, so... I got him patched up and took care of him. Day two, there was dolphins. I wish I could swim like that. Of course, that would mean I wouldn't need the boat. On the night of day two, there was those falling stars again. Some really bad times are ahead. On day three, Mr. Blue Jay had, uh, had healed up and was able to fly again. It was a very exciting time. But man, are we there yet? I can't see land in any direction. How does the captain and the sailors stand this? Maybe it's because they're so busy. I wish the captain would give me something to do. If your paws are on my ship, you're gonna have to work as one of my crew. Finally, something to distract me from, from the situation. Ah, very good. Lipo here will give you all the details. Arr, you just listen to him. Get to it. Yes, sir. Alright, matey. I'm Filippo. Good to meet ya. You'll perform duty given to all new crewmates. Tough job of squatting the deck. Find the places that need cleaning. All you gotta do is stiff them out. And then wipe them up. Just like stiffing for, for items. Here's what the dirt will smell like. Yeah. Come find me once you clean all the dirt from the deck. On it. Hey, something to do! Oh! Aha! Get away with you, dirt! Take 
think it might have it potentially could have been more fun to see our puppy with a mop, but you know. Guess that's all of it. I think I got him. I'm not picking up anymore. Good work, sick dog. Your hard work's been noticed. Yay. Sub up for day four. Bird. On to day five. But the captain has a new job for us. Yay! Variety! Woo! Hey! Let me introduce you to our cook, Bernard. Howdy! You don't seem to have a fishing rod. I'll lend you mine. Yay! Thank you, sir. Now, I'll tell you how to fish. Listen up. Tutorial time. Fish on any place by the ocean in the lake. Just push the X button. Fish and reel it in. Distance of fish gets displayed on the bar on the screen. So yeah, idea is to reel in the fish. But don't reel it in too quickly. If the line gets too tense or too loose, the fish can get away. Simple enough. After all, it's a one-button fishing system. So. Let us tutorial and practice our skill. Waiting for fish. Waiting for fish. Oh, come on! Who are you to resist? Air fishy! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy! Yay! Did that say centimeters? That is a big sea bass! Waters are filled with Pacific Saudi and sea bass! I want you to catch one of, each, one of each of them and bring them to me! Need them for addition and preparing! the deck out the back of the ship. You can fish from there. On it. Yes, and that sea bass we caught during the practice session doesn't count. We don't have that bugger anymore. Oh! Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Looks like another sea bass. Where are you? Aha! 90 centimeters. Yeah, that... Our tutorial fish was a one meter fish. Yeesh, that is a big fish. Not even sure we have a one meter dog. There you go. Is this our story? Oh, we have another sea bass. For each additional fish that you catch beyond what you need, Bernard will give you a whoop for. So, at least it's not time wasted. That looks like a sorry. Hey, you! You'll be sorry! Yay! That was a much smaller fish. I'm gonna let him know we did good. Yo! Touch a fish! Here's a sorry! And here's some bass. Yay! Hmm. 
Good work, kid. It's all for today, then. If you want to be a real ship dog, you'll need some tackle. You can keep that set. Thank you, sir. Eh, you can't carry around extra fish, can you? Well, I could. I'll take them off your balls. Thank you, sir. So ends day five. Hooray! Bird. Good to have a little friend. Day six. Still no sign of land. Arr, I've been very impressed with your work. You want to work on my ship as a sailor full time? Captain, you know I'm not here for that. Arr, 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 I'm just joking. Talk to Filippo here. Got a job for you again. Yes, sir. Hey, Filippo. Arr, all, all the dogs. Dogs have lives of their mates and their paws. We trust each other. Our family. One big seafaring family. On the other paw, we don't trust dogs we don't know. So for the captain to let you, a dog we don't know, ride the ship. Well, let's just say that don't happen very often, you see. Uh, I understand. I do feel privileged. Ah, uh, back to swabbing the deck. Got it. Yes, I know how to swab the deck. Yes, sir. Our the dirt smells the same, so get to it. Alrighty. So this time there is a bit more dirt to clean up. Let's face it, a ship is a dirty place. Who's been messing up my deck? Work hard to clean this thing. Captain, has this been you making this mess? Ah, uh, it's you, isn't it, Mr. Postman? Well, I'm on to you. But, uh, well, let's actually stop it here, because turning in this quest will actually trigger a lengthy sequence, and we've been going for a while. Uh -huh. So, next time, we'll see where the story goes from here. See you then. Later. <laughs>